Welcome to video 67 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to write the item UI script. Okay, so this one is just like the item animator script. If there's a UI attached to the item, it will be disabled when you throw it and it will be enabled when you pick it up. So that's all it's for. So once again it applies really to the gun and bazooka where you need that to happen. So I'll just open that up. I won't need the start and update methods, and I'll just write here private item master item master and public game object. No, not that. Public game object my UI. Okay. Now it's at initial references, and of course I need two new methods. So void enable uh, my UI and void disable my UI. All right. Now I'll set the initial reference item master is get component. Call that set initial references done. Uh, subscribe, so item master event object pickup plus equal. So when I pick it up, I need to enable the UI. So enable my UI. All right. Once again, bring that in event object throw disable. So disable my UI. All right. Now, you will have noticed that this script and the previous one just deal with one component slotted in. I mean, there's nothing stopping you from making it an array in case you have multiple animators, UIs, or whatever on the item that you want to affect when you pick it up and throw it or throw it. So there's nothing stopping you from uh, making such behavior. This is just how I've done it and, uh, well, as far as I needed it to go anyway. All right, so for enable my UI, I'll first of all check that my UI is not equal to null. If it isn't, then my UI dot set active true. It is a game object. And once again, if my UI is uh, not equal to null, then when I disable, i would set it to false. Okay, so that is it. This one is fine. Let me just go back to Unity. I'll just drag it on. Item UI. And of course, I don't have a UI attached, but it's just a game object. So, I mean, I can do something a bit silly here. Let me just duplicate this. Move it out a little bit. Why don't I change the scale to 0.3? So it's some Imagine that's a UI. <laughs> let me drop it here. Okay, like that. And, and now let me take this and say that this is the UI. Okay. That item one bracket one. And item two will have uh, no such thing. Okay. Let me just disable that. Okay. All right. So that's item two, item one. Okay. Oh, whoops. I've put it on the wrong side. It's in front of the game object. That's that was silly of me. Uh, let me change that. And the other thing too is it's got all these scripts on it. So uh, let me just go ahead and, sorry, just quickly get rid of that. That's a bit silly on my part. So let me just get rid of all of these components. I don't have to. I just have to remove the uh, set position one. Okay. Would have been wiser for me to actually just uh, make it pretty much a brand new game object and just do that. All right, so let me just run that again quickly. Sorry for that. Jump in, item one, there you go. Now you can see it. If I throw it, there, it's gone. You don't see any uh, UI piece connected. If I pick it up, you can see it there again. When I throw it, it's gone. All right, easy. So that's working all right. So once again, 
I guess thanks for watching, and there's still another video uh, for you to go through for this chapter, so keep on going onwards.